Hello again. Okay, so for this project I wanted to create a, um, a wooden planting container to sit outside the front of our house. Um, so I had certain dimensions I needed to work to. So the first thing to do was to measure the area I needed to fill and cut these lengths of timber to size. Um, and then what I did was fit them together and I used these strips of metal. So I, I drilled through the metal, screwed them to the wood, cut the screws on each section as you can see there, and then to make a box. Um, I did treat all this with a waterproof sort of uh, sealant varnish as well, just to give it extra protection. So the next thing I did was to cut those little sections of wood to fit the corners on the underside of the planter, and they acted as feet to lift the planter off the floor. So when it rained or when I watered it, um, the water had somewhere to sort of run out a bit of a bit of a fall onto the paving slabs, um, you know, instead of soaking up the bottom of the wood. Um, and then what I did here, I actually used some leftover pond liner um, and fixed that to the inside uh, and then used some timber to hold it in place around the outside. Now before I filled it with this topsoil, I actually drilled a series of holes in the bottom of the pond liner and the wood underneath. So when it rained, and again like I said earlier, when I watered it, the water had somewhere to run through to the block paving below and not build up and create like a soggy damp mess. Um, drainage is very important for these planters. Um, and then I filled it with these flowers to start with, but over the, um, the coming year, because I've sort of made this about a year and a half ago, I've, I've filled it with various plants, uh, depending on the season, some wildflowers, some sort of bigger uh, ready potted plants I dug in there um, with some compost. Um, so yeah, just to keep colour to the front of the house all year round as best we can.